When it comes to pros, um, we uh, we have a so the pros to an, a, a franchise model is the fact that the there's just less risk. Okay, so a lot of you may not know, but many businesses, 50% of businesses fail by year five. 25% fail, fail between year one and two, 50% fail by year five. And actually by year 15, only 25% of the businesses actually have, have made it that far. So there's like a 75 to 80% failure rate over the course of 15 years, right? So the reality of it is that being a part of a franchise model, sometimes you have a proven business model that you're emulating. So you're not having to figure everything out on your own. You, know, you have a guide, you have, you know, another partner that's kind of showing you the way and kind of helping you maybe like, you know, not, not take on too much risk or not take on the wrong type of risk or put yourself in a situation, you know, that if you don't know where to go and you don't have the resources or the kind of business know how to get yourself out of that hole. Another thing too, is that, um, you know, a lot of times being a part of a franchise model, you're going to, it's, you're, it's actually going to be easier to obtain SBA financing through, certain funding partners, a lot of times the SBA loan programs, they will find more security in a franchising company that has like a business plan that has proven track records and that has a relationship with a banking partner that that relationship itself, you know, actually, you know, is, um, can potentially make it easier for franchisees to obtain the SBA financing. It's not to say that you can't get it on your own. It's just to say that like sometimes, banks might prefer the fact that, oh, this is like a franchising company. They already have the systems. They already have the, the processes. They're not like we're taking as much of a risk on that individual person because they're already part of a system. Number three is the whole idea of brand recognition. You know, brand recognition is massive. I mean, when we, you know, uh, first started this, this uh, PowerPoint, you know, we had some of the largest brands out there that made the top 100 franchise list. The, like the power of those brands is so, so important because the thing is, like, you know, no matter where you go, what state you go to, you know, that when you walk into those stores, there, there's going to be a consistent, you know, you know, like service or expectation that you have of how things, of how things will run or how things will operate, or, you know, maybe it's food service, or maybe it's um, a product or something else that you might be, you know, uh, familiar with, but it's because the power of that brand and that power of that brand actually drives sales because customers will already like, know, and trust that brand. And so when that brand comes into a new marketplace or when there's multiple brands in a, in a market, it creates a, a, just a much greater sense of trust, which is going to increase the amount of sales or leads that might come through because of simply the brand recognition. The fourth thing is that the systems and processes, like being a part of a franchise group, you're literally getting a business in a box. There's no need to start from scratch. It's like, here's your blueprint. Everything's included. You know, all of your roles and responsibilities, all of your, um, you know, systems and processes for different parts of the company from sales to marketing, to activities, to food service. Um, you know, all that stuff is already kind of written out. It already has a process in place. It already has systems in place. You don't have to go figure all that stuff out on your own and learn the hard way. It's already done for you. One of the other things that's a nice pro is, you know, number five is the buying power. So by being a part sometimes of a, of a, of a franchise system, you get the sheer like, like volume, the purchasing power of being a part of a much larger organization, which is going to reduce costs. A lot of times you'll see this in construction. You'll see this in like architecture fees, because if you think about it and like, we're just going through this now and it's, it's really interesting, but our architecture fees and all of our future you know, franchisees are much less than, than what it costs us to do on our first one. And, and, and because of the repetitive nature of the, of the, of what we're building, it like makes it much easier and much faster for our architect to, you know, finalize drawings and plans. And, uh, same goes for like, you know, the furniture and some of the fixtures and some of the marketing material because of the sheer volume that we're going to be doing and the amount of, you know, furniture and fixtures and construction and architectural you know stuff that we're you know, that are, we're incurring you know we actually get you know much more you know greater buying power and there's a reduction in cost in some of those areas where there might be an increased cost if you're doing it on your own um, the number six is the fact that like you don't have to waste money on consultants and you can you know just really enjoy the 
continuing coaching sessions that you're going to be getting from a success coach who really kind of, you know, is, is, is almost like part of the system and part of that network. But it's like when you're paying that royalty fee, part of that is getting that continued support from a success coach. Number seven is kind of the increased resale price, which I find to be very, very intriguing. And I know a lot of times people don't go into business to, to sell their business. But the reality of it is, is that sometimes there might be a need to sell and other times it might be part of like the retirement plan or part of like, you know, like the 10 or 15 year vision is to have some sort of an exit um, in the future, which is more of like a wealth event where all that hard work, those blood, that blood, sweat and tears you put into it. Now you have this event where you maybe sell your business in the future and you're able to take you know, 500,000, a million, $2 million off the table potentially and, and, and use that towards your retirement because you built a real business with real cash flows that operates without you. The nice part about it is a franchise business will typically sell for one and a half times greater value than that of a non-franchise business, uh, which, is, which is really encouraging. A lot of that has to do with the brand, the goodwill, uh, the support system in place, and there's a lot of reasons why, but that is another pro to the franchise model. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here, and make sure you subscribe to our channel, click here. We'll see you guys next time.